What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to my latest FIFA 19 video. So this video today guys is going to be a little bit of a different one. It's going to be me actually redeeming my foot swap cards. Now, we're pretty much at the end of the event. Um, I presume they're just going to do it every month. So obviously we had it last month. This has obviously been the November one. I'm sure there'll be one for December as well, which might be quite interesting to do about all the Christmas stuff. But you can see like on all these various uh, swap deals we've got on the SPCs, I've only got one day and five hours left. So... I'm going to get these done now. I've accumulated, I'm pretty sure there's only about 14 that are available. I've only ever seen 14. Um, I think last time they might have had 14 or possibly even 15, but I, I don't know for sure. I'm pretty sure in my club I've got 13 foot swap players right now though, guys. I don't actually have all of them. There's one which I know for sure that I'm missing. I know how to get it, but I'm not going to get it just because I don't really have that much kind of desire to get so i've got five of them there and also another eight there yes yeah, so i've got 13 foot swap players um they're all for this month as well i should point that out you can't actually like you can't mix the foot swap players they're all set for a certain month so they are all for this month just to point that out um yeah I, i'm pretty sure there's one which i'm missing which is from a weekly objective. Yeah, so you need to score using Spanish players in three separate rivals' wins to earn a swap deals player. Now, I'm not going to do that because when I was playing Div Rivals this week, the team which I had didn't actually have a Spanish player in it, and I don't really like to kind of force myself to use players just to get that done. And I was having a look through, like, obviously, like I said, so you know, you've seen so far, I had 13 players, so I've got a lot of them anyway. Um, and I was having a look at what me missing out on that one player would actually mean in terms of what I could claim. Now, if I had 14, I could get Pedro, but I don't really want Pedro. I've got Lucas Moore playing him up anyway. And to be honest, for me, that Pedro card doesn't really look that good. Because you'd have to literally submit like every single one of your players to get him. Now, I could go out there and I could get 100k pack for 13. That would be really good. Um, and then drops down to rare mega pack for 9. Now, if I was to get a rare mega pack, I could then get this Joshua Gilavogi card for four, which is that this is what I'm leading towards. I think I'm going to do this. I think that's the combination I'm going to go for because he he looks really good. Now, being French is obviously quite useful because there's a lot of good French players this year, so you can link him up that way. Um, and also Bundesliga, not necessarily because of Wolfsburg. There's not really that many good Wolfsburg players, but you never know. There might be a way of just linking like. Possibly one or two Bundesliga players, you know, like an Alaba or a Boateng or something like that. But possibly that, I'm just thinking that might be something which might pop up in the future. I haven't really used Bundesliga a lot yet this year because I don't really kind of like the look of the league. But because of all the player of the month cards that are coming out, it could be one of those things that possibly down the line might actually look a little bit better. So Gilliverg is probably the thing I'm leaning towards. Um, for seven players, you can get Antonio. But to be honest, I can't imagine he's very good. He, I just don't. I don't really like him on FIFA. Not as a striker, to be honest. Um, rare Electrum players pack for five. There's Niang for four. But again, I just look at him and like you can't get any green links off him. You, you know, you're gonna really struggle to link him in. You're only gonna be getting soft links. So I just think that's a bit pointless, really. Electrum players pack is for two, and a silver players pack for one. So. I'm not going to look at any of these three. They're just like no go straight away, really, for me. Like Gilavogi is probably like the lowest one I'd look at getting. Um, the issue is like trying to spend them wisely. The issue you don't really want to have players left over because you can't use them in like the next month. So it's pointless in doing that. So you want to use them all up, really. Now, obviously, don't get me wrong. If you've got a couple left over, you can just go and get like a silver players pack or whatever. But that just seems a little bit pointless to me. I don't really want to go jumbo rare players pack just because. My luck's not been that great this year, and I feel like if I went all in on one of them, I'd just regret it. I feel like I want to get something. I want to take a player just because I want to get something out of this that's like a definite like reward, like a concrete reward that I can know that I'm 100% guaranteed to have achieved something out of this event. So I'm going to take Gilavogi because for me, he's the most sort of like appetizing player there. Um, and obviously, that leaves me with... With nine things left over, which was, it makes sense really to go for the uh, for the mega pack. Really, I mean, you could go for rare electron players pack, and then maybe like two of the electron players packs. I mean, that that would work as well. That would uh, that would accumulate to nine. But rare mega packs have been decent for me over the years. Like it's a 55k pack, 
it's literally like 30 items all of them rare i think or maybe like all but like one or two items that are rare so i think that's the way i'm gonna go guys it seems like the most you know the the highest opportunity to be profitable so i'm probably gonna do that so i just have to like throw some players in here um give a special i don't think it really matters what what positions you go for um i just have to scroll down i don't think there's any way to get that to um I don't think there's any way to get that to actually sort in the right way. I'm actually flicking this the wrong way as well, aren't I? Let's get this in here. Um, oh, that's frustrating when you get sent back to the first page. I hate that. Chuck those guys in there. What if I put one too many in? Nope, just about the right number. So yeah, there's no like chemistry chemistry requirements or anything like that. You literally just need nine foot swap players. So we'll just chuck those guys in and we get a rare mega pack. And we will get ourselves Gilavergi as well. Just to finish that off. So should be, yeah, again, no kind of like, no chemistry or anything like that. It's not, not a problem. You literally just got to put the players in. Doesn't matter which ones, as long as they're from this month's event. So that works nicely. We've got, ooh, we've actually got two strikers. Ooh, getting bear chem. And... Yeah, two right backs in there at centre mid. And that gets that done as well. It gets us a Joshua Gilavogi. We will watch him. I presume he'll come out from behind the boards, I would like to think. Yep, looks like he's going to do that. We'll just watch this. Nice little green flare. Bit of a mishmash paint job on his card there. And here he is. Decent looking stats. Waves to the crowd. Nice to meet you. Make sure you play well. He's going to be like a solid holding midfielder. He's, you know, he's not going to be scoring a lot of goals. He's not certainly not going to be known for his shooting, but pretty good enforcer in the midfield. So we'll take him. We'll take the Joshua Gilavogi. And we've also got, obviously, that rare mega pack to crack open now, guys, just before I end the video. But it's obviously going to be a pretty short and basic video. I just wanted to show you guys really what I, what I took, really. And obviously sort of talk you through like the various combinations of things you can go for if you if you're undecided as to what to take. But... Ray Mega Pack, let's go. What are we saying? We're not saying a walkout. Of course we're not. I mean, I don't think it's possible to get a walkout. Um, it's actually going to be another inform, which is crazy. I've, I've had a couple of informs recently, um, but not very good ones. So we Lang. So I've, I've had like three informs uh, recently from packs, but they're all like 81 or lower. So that, it, you know, it doesn't really feel like you're getting anything. But I think EA in their head think, oh, we've given him an inform. We've given him something really good. But... You haven't really. Um, we got Kagawa, Bonaventura, Muriel, Rebic, Wilson, Caceres, Simon, and Quinones. A couple of a little bits. Free score fitness cards, which is always nice. A couple of uh, healing cards. Uh, right wing to right mid, centre mid to Cam twice, and Cam centre mid. Wolfsburg kit as well to go with Gilavogi. Very nice. I like that EA. Um, and just contracts, really. Not too bad. It's tradable, so can't really complain. A little bit of a few players to fill up the club but that's it really guys obviously that's what you can do if it's uh, your foot swap players just make sure you get them redeemed before it ends at six o'clock tomorrow it'll be judging by the expiry time on that because then after that in a couple of days time i'm sure there'll be a new foot swap event which kicks up and you won't be able to use any of your existing players in that new one because they will be the players are specific to each month's event so make sure you get as many of those redeemed as possible. If you do have any leftover, just literally just chuck them into the silver players pack. Just, you know, sometimes silver players are worth a little bit. It's, you know, it's not going to be anything exciting. You're not going to get an icon or anything like that, I wouldn't have thought. But, um, you know, it's, at least you're not putting things to waste. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, then feel free to leave a like. Um, obviously, comments, let me know what you thought about it. And let me know what players you've got. Obviously, you can subscribe to my channel already if you haven't. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. All, all the information about that is in the description below. That is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.